Usapan uh-huh. pang kalusugan naman tayo with Adeline Perez at ang topic nila ay tungkol sa leukemia. Pero bago ang discussion, panoorin po natin ito. Yes. Batay sa tala ng 2005 Philippine Health Advisories Report ng Department of Health, panglima ang leukemia sa sanhi ng kamatayan sa bansa, pang-apat sa kalalakihan at pang anim naman sa kababaihan. Kabilang rin ang leukemia sa top 3 cancer killers sa bansa na tinatayang halos pito sa bawat isandaang libong Pilipino ang apektado nito. Ang leukemia ay isang cancer sa dugo at bone marrow na ang dahilan ay ang mabilis na produksyon ng white blood cells. Ayon sa mga medical scientists, hindi pa tukoy ang eksaktong dahilan ng pagkakaroon ng nasabing kondisyon. Subalit may mga palatandaang maaaring mapansin upang maagapan at malunasan ang isang pasyenteng may leukemia. Yan ang tatalakayin natin ngayong umaga kasama ang mga eksperto kasabay ng pagdiriwang ng World Leukemia Awareness Month ngayong buwan ng Setyempre. Dito lamang sa Usapang Pangkalusugan. Okay, habol-habol kami mga kasabahay. Good morning and uh, good morning kuya. Dahil nga September po ay leuke- leukemia awareness yes, month. month. Ayan mga kasabahay. Pag-usapan natin kasi pang lima na pala itong cause of death po sa ating bansa. Pang-apat sa mga kalalakihan. Ano? Pang-anim sa kababaihan. Kasi pagka pinag-uusapan ng cancer, lagi nating naiisip yung bukol. Pero ito rin po ay cancer na may kinalaman naman po sa ating mga dugo. At para po i-discuss natin yan, kasama natin ngayong umaga ang founder po at chairman ng the board, ng board and board ng FCALM Adult. Ayan, Leukemia Foundation of the Philippines in Incorporated. Palakpakan na natin. Lagi na natin bisita, Dr. Erlene Demere. Hi, Dr. Erlene. Hi, Erlene. Yeah. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. At kasama rin po natin mga kasabahin ngayong umaga ang isa pong bisita natin na si Nitz, si Nanay Nitz, na wife naman po siya ng isang pasyenteng may leukemia na ngayon po ay naka-admit sa UST Hospital. Good morning, Nitz. Ayan. Pag-aaralan natin itong sakit na ito, no? And then at the same time, ipipromote po natin yung inyong uh, uh, yeah, yung awareness uh, programs po natin patungkol sa leukemia. Pero tanungin ko na lang yeah. din si oh, oh, Nanay Nitz. Napakabata. Ilang taon ka na po? 32. 32. Yes. Yung asawa niyo po ay currently nasa UST. UST Hospital, Charity Division. Opo. At uh, ilang taon na din siya? 32 years old. May leukemia siya. Yes. May stages yan, doctor, di ba? Yeah, but actually, ang leukemia, pag na-diagnose, yun na, parang stage 4 cancer siya. Eh. Kasi, yeah, it's really malubha agad. So, kasi wala siyang pinapakita ng mga wala specific pinam- signs? Walang ganun. specific sign. Ito nga si Marvis, eh, low back pain lang. Yun? Oo, oh, oh, low so, back pain. So, nag, 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 nag ano, reklamo lang siya ng low back pain? Yes, for rate 1 to 10, 10 is the highest. Oo. Oh, oh. So, masakit Oo. sobra. Masakit Si uh, Marvis yung, ang pangalan. Marvis. Si Marvis ba? Eh, may mga bisyo? No, wala. Mataba ba siya? Malaki siya? Hindi rin. Hindi po. rin. So very healthy siya. Very healthy, um, physically fit, Oo. no vices at all, and then all of the sudden. Tapo, kailan niya naramdaman yung back pain niya? Um, this um, year po, May. May lang this yes. year? Okay. And when you saw, the, bakit? Kasi back pain usually sa ortho natin mm-hmm. pinapacheck up mm-hmm. or sa general check up mm-hmm. muna or medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Paano po na, na-discovery na yung nga, na, na leukemia yung sakit ni Marcus? Mm-hmm. At first po, um, his, um, nagko-complain siya mm-hmm. of, Um, lower back pain mm-hmm. and then with series of x-ray they found out it's just a muscular spasm mm-hmm. and then they the doctors gave and uh, pain relievers and so unfortunately walang bisa sa kanya mm-hmm. and then all of the sudden nag drop ang kanyang blood count mm-hmm. the hemoglobin the platelet mm-hmm. so after that he had series of blood transfusions wow. and then he undergone also a bone marrow autops- uh, biopsy and bone marrow aspiration mm-hmm. last July 3 and then they found out he has acute Myelogenous. Myelog- leukemia. Okay. AML. Acute. Ibig sabihin, matindi na yes. to. Yung acute myelogenous leukemia, yun yung common usually din sa mga lalaki. Mm-hmm. Yun yung sakit din ni uh, Francis Magalona noon. Oh, ganun. Tsaka yung kapatid ko, they have the same. So, they're all males, AML. Oo. So, yun talaga kailangan immediate chemotherapy yun eh. And that's what he's undergoing now. Okay. Uh, chemotherapy sa UST. And it's masela. Now, he has pneumonia. He has ano. So, 
it's really expensive siya na disease because we need antibiotics, we need support, mm -hmm. we need blood. Mm -hmm. Eh, one time nag-crisis kami kasi six na lang yung platelet. Imagine yes. the normal six? platelet is 150 and above. Oh, oh. Sa kanya, six. No? And then they didn't have blood. Red Cross didn't have blood. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing that EPCOM wants to do. No? We want to mobilize people who have a heart to donate blood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kaya may blood drives kami. Mm -hmm. We have a blood drive on September 4. Please mark that date, September 4 at St. Luke's Global City. Mm -hmm. So you just go there, 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Uh, we will have people who will accommodate you para ma, ma blood drive tayo. And then September 22 also, we have another blood drive also in St. Luke's Global. Mm -hmm. And September 23, another blood drive sa blood, um, Philippine Blood Center in mm -hmm. Quezon City. That's good kasi ang grupo po ni Brother Eli Soriano, ang grupong ang dating daan. Yeah. Regularly naman po we have blood drives yes. sa lahat po ng mga iba't ibang places po sa Metro Manila. Yeah. So makakatulong talaga. Invite palaga. nyo kasi ang maganda doon, St. Luke's will take care kasi of the screening of all and then part of the amount of blood will be credited to the foundation. Mm, okay. So any a uh, patient who needs the blood, mm -hmm. pwede namin siyang gamitin. Pagka po ba merong uh, leukemia, no? you're saying bumababa yung platelet, so yeah. natitira mga white blood cells, ganun ba yun? Oh, Nawawala iba -iba, yung red blood cells? Yeah, no, iba-iba ang kinds of leukemia, Apo. but it is a blood disease, blood cancer, mm -hmm. that really the bone marrow, kasi yung bone marrow, yun yung yun gumagawa yun. ng white cells, mm -hmm. uh, red cells, at platelets, three mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. So sometimes iba-iba ang unang mga bumaba, and depends on what kind of leukemia, mm -hmm. yun, kung lymphocytic ay uh, acute lymphocytic leukemia yung mm -hmm. white count naman sobrang taas ah, so, oh. so iba iba but it's a it's a yan, bone marrow biopsy ang way of diagnosing it talaga a bone marrow aspirate and biopsy that's what Marvis went through mm -hmm. para okay. ma-diagnose kaya kailangan talaga yung continuous blood transfusion yeah. ano para yes. continuously matulungan yeah. sila and let's talk about the program no kasi ko konti na yung ating yes, oras yes. doctor no para yeah. mas lalong mabigyan ng awareness ang ating mga kasambahay yeah. and a website siguro where yes. they can yes. go into yes. and a telephone yes. number go yes. ahead doctor yeah um well EPCOM no, is, a, is really a foundation to cater to leukemia patients. So we try to be able to address, we try to be able to address the different needs, multifaceted needs of patients with leukemia. Ang dami, so you can help these uh, sick patients. And uh, for this month, for the first time in the Philippines, yeah. EPCOM is spearheading the observance of World Leukemia Awareness. Because this is well celebrated all over the world, but never celebrated in the Philippines. So you really know that leukemia is given parang uh, least priority you know, in the country. In the so country. with your help, those who are listening, we'll now bring this awareness to leukemia to a national level. Mm -hmm. So it starts out with this September 2. This is the first event that we're uh, staging. You know, that you're Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Lynn, that you allow us to tell the Philippines mm -hmm. and the world mm -hmm that uh, the Philippines is now joining the world in celebrating World Leukemia Awareness. On September 11, we will have a formal launching at the SM Grand Atrium, SM Aura. Mm -hmm. You can go there. Martin Rivera will be there. And uh, we thank the SM uh, Foundation. Foundation, SM Corporation, for allowing us exposure. Mm -hmm. Then, on September 22, we will have a foreign speaker from the National Institutes of Health, the Tesla mm -hmm. Maryland, because mm -hmm. they recognize what we're doing here mm -hmm. and we're linked with them. We're going to have a scientific and lay fora at uh, St. Luke's Global City, mm -hmm. Henry C. Auditorium. Mm -hmm. And then we will have a little blood drive in the afternoon. And then at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, mm -hmm. please come mm -hmm. if you can. Mm -hmm. We're inviting you, Martin, and uh, hopefully Boy Abunda will be, good, will be well enough. But Martin Rivera definitely will be there, who is a strong advocate of uh, EPCOM, mm -hmm. uh, to entertain. All right. Salamat po. And the website where they can... Yeah, you can uh, log in to www.epcom.org. Okay. Or specifically for the... Uh, for the event. World Leukemia, uh, you just type wlm.epcom.org. Okay. Salamat po na malami. Once again, Dr. Erlene Demere, ang founder po and chairman of the board ng EPCOM Adult Leukemia Foundation of the Philippines Incorporated. And salamat din. Nanay